We're back on YouTube today talking about Minecraft YouTubers who use illegal substances. People who use illicit substances are often seen by the general public as people who have short bursts of dopamine, aka happy times, right? They're happy for short periods of time based on what they use. And um, but no, Hannah XX Rose is always happy. Look at this picture I took. I mean, just take a look at this woman, okay? Take a look at Hannah XX Rose, Minecraft streamer, hangs out with Carla Jacob the people that turn your children into men look at her face dude this is who your children watch sorry for the schizoid intro <laughs> let me explain everything okay this happened about a week ago dumpatron very late to the story very late to the scoop as always okay i'm super super apologetic but we're talking about hannah rose hannah xx rose missing one x from true great content but she is a Minecraft streamer, okay? Streams on Twitch, makes YouTube videos, tweets on Twitter. She's an all-around content creator of Minecraft. And she recently got herself into some of the dumbest f***ing drama of all time. All started by herself, by the way, okay? Not anyone else's problem, but her. She could have just ignored the situation, but no, she responded and had herself out to look like the dumbest person of the week besides tipster. So I'm gonna break it down. Essentially, YouTuber Vipra made a tier list of, you know, their favorite Minecraft creators and their skills at the game. I think it was Bed Wars, right? Who's the best Bed Wars player? Oh my god, so interesting. So they put Hannah Rose at the bottom because they suck, and all they do is tweet out sponsorships. Oh my god, I'm sponsored by Lego. Go support. Hey guys, by Chipotle. So yeah, this girl YouTuber named Vipra was basically like, oh, you suck, you're bad. And then Hannah Rose went on stream and had a pissy fit about it. What? It's better, it's better content. I don't like this guy okay, anymore. Listen, I'm gonna be real. Oh my god. You can already hear her friend in the background transforming her onto the dark side of the force. What? It's better, it's better content. I don't like this guy okay, anymore. Listen, I'm gonna be real. You're just like so blindsided to like the big picture. God bridging and like bunch of montages they don't want like yeah, 2000 star montage they don't want all that shit you're boring Boom. and there's a reason yeah, you're boring yeah, yeah dude so many women have these voices where they strain it and they grind it and it's just loud and i just i don't give a fuck about it you're just like so blindsided to like the big picture god bridging and like bunch of montages they don't want like yeah, 2000 star montage they don't want all that shit you're boring Boom. and there's a reason i have 2.9 million followers on tiktok and you don't oh here we go the classic numbers argument there's a reason i have 2 million followers and you don't l like please stop i don't understand how people think this is a good look at all like imagine i'm on the video someone comments uh dumpy you're boring and you suck Hey, well, that's why I have 314k subs, and you don't pussy. No, it's like, give me reasons why I'm boring, and I'll, you know, address those reasons, right? Unless they have zero subs, then I'll shit on them for their subs. You're so, like, far into this, like, pipeline of, like, oh, if you can't fucking god bridge and, like, do all this shit, you're fucking I terrible at- Whoa, 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 is, is, uh, Lego sponsor, Chipotle sponsor swearing? Oh, that's very naughty, naughty behavior. Hey, Lego, sponsor Dumpatron. All right, let's just get this out of the way. Sponsor Dumpatron 6000. I am tired of these Minecraft YouTubers. Like, how are we going to be a Minecraft family-friendly YouTuber? I hang out with Dream and George and all that, and then use the F word. Okay, very bad, very naughty stuff. Do, do all the other ones swear too? I genuinely have no idea. I did about five seconds of research, and guys, it turns out they all do. But I have a question. If they're all going to swear and do, like, gay roleplay, which isn't even roleplay because they're actually gay, where, like, George and Dream are kissing and then Sapnap sucks them off. Why do they cater towards such a young kid's demographic? And this is actually a whole other video I have to make because Dream deadass put up his YouTube analytics because people are arguing with him on Twitter about, oh yeah, you have a kid's audience of a bunch of kids. He put out his analytics and showed that 18 to 25 was his biggest margin of viewers. Dream, people lie about their age on YouTube when they make their accounts so they could watch age-restricted ASMR twerk videos. But I digress, back on the Hannah Rose uh, train. I'm gonna run a train on Hannah Rose. I, I, you're just like so blindsided to like the big picture. Nobody cares about Bedwars anymore. My fan base is like 
nice and we're nobody cares about bedwars anymore as she's desperately trying to defend herself as to why she should be ranked high on this dumbass list also i have nice fans uh, no you don't dude as soon as they hear literally i swear to god in this like little 30 second clip amongst the 30 seconds as soon as they heard their queen their king their manlyhood opinionator hannah rose talk shit about this guy they're already going to his comments saying die and drink soap so why are you pretending like you're some kind of white knight when your pantyhose are twisted in multiple knots over someone's opinion of you my fan base is like nice and respectful and kind and uh, mostly sexist. women <laughs> well that's enough no, that's that's that? enough giving them free clout <laughs> that's enough giving them free clout <laughs> Totally owned them, Hannah. I, I love that. But yeah, apparently, guys, if you tell a woman that they're bad... I mean, I guess... I shouldn't say that. If you tell anyone that they're bad at Minecraft who has a large platform on YouTube, they get uh, sensitive as fuck. Now, I don't know why this is. I really have no idea. I think it's because they've been living in this bubble where they get elevated to the top in a very, very short amount of time, okay? Think about Hannah Rose. Think about Hannah Rose in 2012. Was she grinding in the coal mines like me? Doubt it. She probably is some sort of Minecraft industry plant. All she hears is, oh, you're the best. Oh, you're the greatest. Here, let's take a blood sample. Okay, now sell your soul. There you go. Millions of followers, millions of fans. She sees a little bit of criticism. Nah, she has to go scorched fucking earth on stream. Now, do I think that Hannah Rose has no place on this planet? Yes. Do I think Hannah Rose deserves to be buried six feet under? Yes, obviously. I'm being serious right now. Now, hear me out. I took a look at Hannah Rose's Twitter, and I found these pictures um, captioned the Streamer Awards. So, she's wearing this floral dress. Reminds me of what my ex wore at prom before she became a non-binary furry. And by the way, guys, that's a very true story. And if by any chance you're watching this video, okay, um, Ricardo, just turn it off. Ugly dress, by the way, sorry. But uh, yeah, Hannah Rose gets worse in this drama, apparently, or something, so uh, let's, let's run it. By the way, I'm the very first person to cover this situation, so you guys better praise me as a YouTube god. So yeah, basically, Hannah Rose uh, does the tier list thing, where, where she, well, before she even finds out about this monstrosity of an opinion by Vipra, of the fact that, you know, she doesn't think that he's good, or, sorry, he doesn't think that she's good at Minecraft or whatever. Uh, before that, she literally stole half an hour to an hour to four hours worth of this guy's videos. Just looking at her phone, eating tuna salad, eating shrimp, eating my, uh, I can't say that on YouTube, eating my foreskin, I can say that. She then proceeded to label this guy as a misogynisto and a sexist because his opinion of her was that she's bad at the game. Yeah, dude, we're in 2023, and this is the goddamn drama right now. Back in 2012, the drama was, will I make it home after my time in the coal mines? I was only five years old, by the way. Now we're talking about Hannah Rose e-girl bad because of her her uh, freak out on a stream. Well, I, would, would it be called a freak out, or would it be called a Down Syndrome moment? Sorry to cut your time short here, partner, but this is the new CEO of YouTube, Ranjit. Absolute, and it seems that you have used a, uh, a, a joking, joking with Down syndrome people to describe this woman who has more followers than you or something. So, um, sorry, we're gonna have to actually give you your second strike in the last 90 days. One more, and you're going bye bye. But remember when Hannah Rose said this? My fan base is like nice and we're oh my god i have the greatest fans. My fans are nice. Yeah, they actually went ahead and doxed people who. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this is real. They literally went ahead and doxed people who claimed that Hannah Rose was being a fucking meanie head for her reaction on stream. And amongst all this whole entire situation is happening, Hannah Rose says nothing. She completely ignores everything. And then she comments this and then deletes it because it's just full of lies, fabrication, and obliteration. What the hell, haha? -ha. I watched your two videos supporting them and the message behind them. They were great videos because even I got tricked into thinking that girl's TikToks were real. Then I wanted to support your content further and found the video with this segment of me. I definitely wasn't being entirely serious reacting to the tier list. I can't even explain how out of context these clips were. Wow. Yeah, we'll say, man. Wow, Hannah Rose. I can't, I mean, it's just so out of context. You know, you saying that you want to put a fucking spork inside his dick hole. I mean, it's pretty out of context. But listen, if I have not made the point clear enough about who we're dealing with, we are dealing with a psychopathic killer 
on YouTube who must be stopped um, by, by all means necessary. And I think I'm going to be doing this by going inside her house, going to the sponsored room, grabbing the Legos, and putting it right by her bed so that in the morning she steps on it and then quits YouTube. Follow my socials at Dumperman on Twitter, at DumpyLMAO on Instagram, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Also, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye.